The control module for the hybrid system from the Mercedes S400 is removed. Thank God. If it would have been that easy. So let's see how it went with taking the inverter off. To remove the ground cable, I'm using a 45 torus on the ratchet. Problem solved. Full of oil. Bolts back on. So we don't need to search for the bolts. And they don't get lost. We're gonna change the bushings on this one. Let's see. This one is too big. This one is. Okay. Okay. Moving on here. Okay. Oh, this one. Let me see. We will see. I think I better use the little one. Mm 
Не надо правильно. So close to the control module. It's not gonna work. I need something else. More work. This one I use especially for fuel filters. Fuel holders. This one is going to work. For oh, sure. Let me see. It works. It comes very early. Just a few more. Just a little bit more. I'll show you right away. So the camera. Come on. Are you silly? It nearly came completely off, but I'll use this one now. Don't make me look silly. Let's jump back. Turn it a little bit. Okay. Let's see now. Come on, man. Don't do this to me. So you know. Ha. Camera is on. Let's see. Here is them. Okay. I'll use some light. Yeah, here you can see. Oh. A few bolts here and there. And this is the Yeah. 
as in time with this camera. Here we are using again the Torx 25. Let's screw these two bolts. All of those here. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, comes out. Okay, 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 okay. okay. I don't want to spill all over the place. Huh? At first, I removed this clamp. I wanted to drain the coolant, but. As it looks, it's not that much. Okay. I think I just... I think I put my clamp on the other side of the hose, right here, to the DC-DC converter, DC to DC converter. So I can remove this hose completely, so I have more space. Removing the, removing the inverter. Let's see how it plays out. <laughs> see if I remove this one, does it come? Not that much. Put this one here. Let's see. Okay. okay. We're gonna remove this one. This can work just fine, but sometimes it just... It's a pain.
That was just lucky. Uh -huh. Here's the proof. Uh -huh. as much feedback as I can. We need to twist the hose. Try to do something to close this hose. Okay, this is this should do. Hopefully, loosen that. Both are the same length. This is one, not thirteen millimeter. Millimeter. I hope I can loosen this one. Okay. I don't know, but let's try. <coughs> let's try to see if it works. It works. I can't see it, but I can feel it. Let's see if this place. It's not straight, it's tilted. <coughs> so, let's see if it works.
Se for para ele subir. Não é só isso aí. No te slusna. Let's see. If it plays on. Yes. Um, little moves. But... I hope it's the nut from the inverter. <laughs> If not, uh, okay, looks like it. It's not brown, so it's not from the exhaust. It's white. Let's see if the inverter moves now. Yes, it moves a little bit. Yes. Okay. Don't screw the bolts. Three bolts over there. Two, three. One, two, three. Now let's see them. Okay. Let's unscrew them. What you wanna see? Man?
My fingers are slipping from the cold residue. Oh, you can turn the bolt. I need to hold it with a hand, with one hand, and screw with another. Yes, done. Third bolt out. Now let's see. It moves. Yes, yes. The inverter is completely free. The inverter is completely free now. Now we have to unplug the high voltage cable. Because there is not enough space to unplug the high voltage cable from the inverter there is some much more work to do and to remove some more of the heat shields and some pipes
Pichu. Very hard to get out. So, eight millimeters. Like this one. Yes. Three or four of them. Okay. Yeah. Let's see if we have more space to remove the last bolt from the exhaust manifold. We need to unscrew this bracket from the transmission.
Control module for the hybrid system on the S400 is now removed. As you can see, now it looks more like a normal 3.5 sport Mercedes engine, like they call it. They call it a sports engine. Here we have also the nut didn't want to come off, it slipped, but now I will remove it. I will remove the exhaust manifold prior to change the control module. Now we have to wait for the new control module to arrive, new or refurbished. We will see. A lot of free space now as the exhaust manifold is also removed. As you can see, I managed to detach the hybrid system inverter from the car. So, until the new part will be here, the car will be set to sleep for a while. If you have any questions regarding this removal process, feel free to comment down below and I will answer as soon as possible. The next part of this job will be the install of the inverter back on the car. When it will happen, I don't know for the moment. So keep in touch for the new video. God bless you.